So we've had our breakfast, we are re-energised and we're ready to explore Singapore! First stop we've come to Bugis Junction. It's <laughs> not them kind of Bugis. I was wondering what you were doing. Um, it's an indoor kind of flea market. We, we're going to get our shopping on. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, it's very hot outside. I'm going to need a few more t-shirts before the end of the week. So, we're going to have a look around here. We've been outside for five minutes. We'll get money turned up. It's very warm here. We're in the shopping centre and we've just come across the Yo-Yo right, Championships. Really Japan, if you're in the house, let me hear you make some noise. It's still going on though. I could say they're watch that for a long time. They're all national champions, all got skills. We were saying like we were lucky just to do the walk the dog, right? Let's keep it dog. but there's so much to do. We have to keep going, right? Yeah, we do. So we come outside the shopping centre for a minute, and I don't know if you can see, it is massive. There's then the buildings behind us are numbered one to five, um, but in the middle of it all is this fountain it's called the fountain of well um, they do like sessions where you can walk around and touch the water it's very touristy because it's called the fountain of wealth we're like we're gonna have to go and touch the water just in case it brings us some rubble it's called the fountain of wealth but it's not you're meant to put your hand in the water walk around three times and make a silent wish so i'm gonna do that now What did you wish for? I can't tell you, it's a secret. So now we've come down to the marina and the view is spectacular. Uh, first of all, you've got this... Marina Bay Sands. Which, Lucy knows all the names, sorry. Which Go we're on. going to attempt to get into later on. It's literally just, it looks like a floating ship on the top of three high-rise buildings, which is immense. Behind us over here, you've got the big wheel which is Singapore called Singapore Flyer. <laughs> See, Lucy says, it is bigger than our Millennium. London Eye. Yeah, London Eye. Um, that, that's first, ours is second. And then as we go round, swing around behind the marina. All the banks. All the banks. It's the second biggest income in Singapore. What's first? Um, the ports, isn't it? See? She's just full of information. <laughs> We're now crossing the harbour, we're on Jubilee Bridge and we are going over to the bank side which is on reclaimed land. So a third of the island, 33%, is reclaimed land. And this is the foresight, they, someone had the idea back in 1971 that they were going to be able to do this. This bridge was built in 2014 and it is full of tourists taking in all the views which obviously are spectacular, Lucy included. We're across the harbour now, and Lucy's going to give you some information about this statue. Um, it's called the Mer Lion. Why is that? Because um, it's half fish and half lion. Um, it's been shown in many different like sporting events. I think. I'm guessing. I think that's right. <laughs> I thought you knew loads of information about the whole area. I'm I thought you'd done your research. I'm trying. I'm trying. How much it... research did you do? Oh, a boat. <laughs> It's beautiful around here and the architecture is amazing and it kind of it's something I love so it's lovely to see. Behind us there there was just a school performance. It seems like everywhere we go, I know it's a Sunday so a lot of people are out, the tourists and it's busy, but there's something on everywhere. 
Yeah. You don't get this back home. No, you really don't. And everyone is so friendly and the weather's nice and Lucy's not going home. <laughs> you want to stay, yeah? Yeah, I do want to stay. Okay. What about the house back home? I want that too. So you want everything? Yeah, I want to be in two places at once. Well, we are heading up to <laughs> the ship in the sky now. I Marina don't know. the Bay Sands. She's told me the name three or four times. <laughs> I'm not going to remember it. It looks like a floating ship. That's what we're going to go with. So we're going to go up there and the sun is setting in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of walking today. Yep, we have. We've done over six miles. And by the time we get there, I don't know how what it's going to end on, but no. we deserve a cold drink. Yep, an We're... alcoholic cold drink. <laughs> Lucy, you've still got that problem, haven't you? Of course. Why wouldn't you just get on a boat in the middle of a shopping centre? <laughs> Madness. It's just been fantastic. We came up here, I think about half six. Um, we got the 22 bucks um, pass, which brings you up to Sky Garden. No, the Sky, what's it called? Sky Bar. Yeah, Sky Bar. And you redeem it against drinks and food. We've been up here in The drinks are pricey though. Yeah. Um, one beer is 20 bucks, which works out about 12 pounds. So it's, it's quite expensive. But there is a swimming pool the other side, and we'll show you a picture of that, a little video. Um, it's only for the hotel guests, so that's a great way to watch the sunset. It was, it's fantastic. And we've come around the other side, it's really noisy around there. And we've actually found, um, what's it called? Uh, Gardens by the Bay, which we're going to do another day. Because as you see, it's massive. So we were saying it looks a little bit like Avatar Land down there, so yeah. we're looking forward to going to that. But we are 12,400 or 600 feet up. And this place is huge. You can get four jumbo jets on the top here. How they've made it is just phenomenal. You've done your research now, haven't you? <laughs> I did well. Lucy's been training me up in there, so um, I wasn't overly convinced when we first came because you was in a little bar and you couldn't have you know views when they could. But we walked around the other side and spot on. It is a very romantic, great way to end today's vlog. Yeah. It's been fantastic. We're going to be exhausted tomorrow, but we're going to do it all over again. We've got something a bit more fun tomorrow, so tune in and stick with us, guys. We are day 12, 13 of the honeymoon. No idea. No, we're just having a blast. And we are going to say good night, God bless, and we'll see you soon. See you later.